Awesome Rider Review. Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of the Deluxe Bison King from Shuriken Sentai Ninja. This is the main mecha for the newest Ranger, Star Ninja. So, um, in typical Dawson Review Fair, we're going to take a very quick look at the packaging before we move on to the main event. Um, as you can see, you know, nothing unusual going on here. You got a big picture of Bison King there, and then it's pre-transform mode of uh, the Bison Buggy and Rodeomaru and stuff like that, and you know, they're always pretty much the same general layout for these boxes, just different aesthetics for the season. And then on the side it shows you can combine with Shuriken Jin to form King Shuriken Jin, so, um, spoiler alert. And then on the other side it just shows you, you know, look, Rodeo Maru, it has a uh, Shuriken, here's Star Ninja's profile, in case he's like a wanted poster, even though he's like a sheriff, and then how it transforms, all that fun stuff. Um, on the top, oops, there's a shaking camera. There's a picture of the shuriken and a nice little uh, stock photo of Star Ninja. On the back, continuously shows you what you can do with it. Shows you that it can work with his morpher when it comes out. It is not out yet, as of this recording. Um, and then more pictures on the bottom. So yeah, that's pretty much about the it. Uh, let's go ahead and actually ming, ming? Yes, let's ming the brain event in. Alright, so here we have the main event in its, well I guess its first mode, which is the bison buggy, which is like this little ATV-ish thing, and something fell over in the background, and Rodeo Maru riding on top of it. Um, and I really like this mode. I'm not entirely sure what it is about this that clicks with me, but I just think it's really cool. It's like this awesome bison ATV bike thingy, and I really like uh, Rodeo Maru's design for some reason. I don't know like what it is. There's just something here that works for me. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty unique looking. I'm just overall pretty neat. Um, all I can really do in this mold, mold, mode, man, I'm gonna have a great time talking today, is roll, so you can hear it rolling. Um, and you can take off Rodeo Mara, which we'll show in a second. This little piece here is gonna be a weapon. Uh, the shuriken's back there, obviously, and you can press the buttons from there if you want. Um, I'll also be taking a look at that in just a second. Actually, I'll we'll probably do that first after we take a quick look at this from each side. As you can see, it looks the same as the other side, just no little weapon here. Um, this little front shot here. It's just a really neat mode. I just really dig it uh, quite a bit. I'm not entirely sure what it is about it, but um, it's probably one of my more favorite little designs from Shurikenger so far. Shurikenger. Ninja. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. I think I got that wrong. All right. Um, let's take a very quick look at this guy on his own, and then we will um, take a look at the Shuriken before we move on to the rest. So kind of like Shinobi Maru, he's just kind of this stationary little robot. He doesn't have a huge amount of articulation. As you can see, his arms can move a little bit because of transformation. And you can move his head, and you can move it up and down a little bit for varying modes when he's sitting on there. And his legs bend here because of the transformation. But other than that, he's pretty much stationary, just like uh, Shinobi Maru. He just, you know, is meant to sit down on this, on this bike here. And you see he's got his little hands here. There's little uh, hand holds. And then there's these little pegs, like on the back of his arms, that uh, stay in here so that you can latch on better, um, and then bend his legs and they, they'll they fit into here. And he's pretty much going to just stay here for the rest of the review. Like, he doesn't really need to do that much moving from this, and except now, like, he's all messed up. But, uh, and you can see you can put his head up so he can, like, be looking better when he's, when he's riding. I don't know why he's riding like that. Maybe it's just... This is giving me an accent. There we go. So yeah, he can just kind of stay on there. Um, he, he doesn't have... Damn it, that's not staying on there. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot to to do now after this. Okay, so before we move on to transformation, let's just go ahead and take a quick look at the shuriken, which stores here on the back in this mode. So here's the shuriken. Obviously, it's got a little piece that comes off here, and you can uh, snap that back on. It doesn't make an activation noise when you snap it on, but that's the little uh, faceplate for Bison King. Uh, all that fun stuff. Press the button on the back and you get the cycled noises. I really dig his music noises a lot. Alright, there's that, and then it'll cycle through them, again, and then of course it can work in the, uh, this, the sword, Ichibanto, there we go, um, which it'll essentially just make the same cycled noises, just with these noises over it.
and I'll just keep cycling. So yeah, that's pretty much how the Morpher works, is it just mixes its noises with this one's. Okay, so now we're going to do the transformation, and we already are going to need this off of it, so we might as well take that off, take this off. It'll come off, the little weapon, there you go. And then just take this whole piece off right here that he's on, and set that aside, and then everything else is going to stay intact, except for this piece which already came off. Um, but everything else is supposed to stay intact. So down here the wheels are not going to become the feet, so just pull these out, plant them forward, Separate these so they don't clash with each other. Pull this out. Damn it. Damn it, feet. There we go. Slide them there. And that'll be the feet. We're going to set it down for a second. Um, and then take these. Boom. Wow, that was hard. Like, I can't, Could you guys follow that? Wait, let me do it again just to be sure. Okay, just want to be sure you got it. Okay, and then now for this, you're just going to set it on top of here. Like that, let that fold down. Now on the back here, um, this kind of sticks out because of the way it is, and I guess it's supposed to, but um, I personally just prefer to do this. Um, I'm going to do that for whatever, uh, for whenever I do it, mainly for storage purposes. I don't know how I'll display it yet, but if you're displaying it, that will at least give you a little bit more extra room um, as opposed to having this thing sticking out. And, I don't know, his legs do look kind of funny sticking out from back there, but it just makes me feel better to do that. So that's why I'm doing that. And that's the history of that. Okay, and then this little thingy here is going to be the weapon. So place it there, and boom, weapon. And then, just like with Shurik Engine, we're going to place this on top of here. There's little pegs and the little button activator up here, and it will make his little uh, jingle noises, if we can get it on there. Let's get it on there. And then you can press the button again, and it'll just do that. But there you pretty much have Bison King. Um, very much in line with the um, unique style that Shurikenjin brings in terms of design. Uh, like I said, I really do dig his buggy mode with Rodeo Maru. Um, this I don't like quite as much. I don't hate it. Um, it definitely gets the job done for what it's doing, but I'm not necessarily a huge fan of this design on its own. I like elements of it. Um, I like, uh, as much as I sort of dig the pilot thing, I like that that's not present here. Um, the face here really reminds me of uh, the Zero Five Battle Zord. Um, I think that the little gun weapon on it's pretty cool, and you can actually bend these out because of the way it. Uh, transform so that kind of creates something cool there um, but yeah it's just there's people that probably really like this some people that don't that looks like he's got like a rat tail or like a long hair it's just really funny um, but yeah it's just out of the three modes I don't know if it's my least favorite I don't know I'm just arguing with myself at this point damn it Dawson just shut up um, but yeah it's it's very okay it's very much in line with what shuriken's design is shuriken shurik engine there we go I have a thing with names man Pretty soon I was going to call it the Samurai Star Megazord. But yeah, there there it is. There's that. Um, I guess we can do a Toku fapping thing and just have it standing next to Shurik Engine since we're going to need him here in a second anyway. So let me carefully... There we go. Shurik Engine there. So as you can see, they fit in pretty well together. Tumor Brothers. Okay, so now let's go ahead and combine them. Um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, let's start... Shurik Engine, you're going over here for a second. Uh, for, for him, we're pretty much just going to be disassembling him, to be honest. Um, take this piece off here, and we're going to set it aside. Um, take these pieces off, and take this off as well. And uh, take this piece off, and this back piece, and these pieces separate as well. So you essentially just completely disassemble... Uh, Bison King there. And for sure, Kenjin, you do a little bit less disassembling, but take off his helmet, uh, take off his weapon pieces. We're going to combine that with Bison King's weapon, and then just set his arms to the side. We're going to just be repositioning them, essentially. Okay, so there's that. Um, I'm going to do the feet first, since that's the most annoying. Um, you're going to do that uh, sort of slipper thing that, you know, they like to do here. So place that up, and they're going to go like this, and right here on the bottom. It will snap in if, if they want to. There we go. We got you good? We're good enough. All right, we're gonna kinda 
lean them like that. I'm surprised it actually stands. Usually you have to lay those down. So it's very simple, just fold it out like that, and you'll see that it creates like this weird little slipper thing. I like how that's just a thing with Tokumak. They're like, if they don't know what to do with something, they're like, here, let's just make weird slippers and put it on the feet. So there you go, he's gained some height there. There's his little, his little slippers. Okay, now, um, let's see. Now we're going to take this piece, uh, take the bison head off of it, and then just chuck this over there and say, hell with you, man. No, but just take the bison head off, and then we're going to place this on the top. There you go, so he gained some height there. He's very tall now. Look at that. Poor, what's his face down here? Yeah, what's his face? That's his name. All right, now take your um, arms from Sh Shinkenmaru, Shurik Engine. Damn, with the names, man. And we're going to be placing these on them. I should make sure I want to get the right one for each. Uh, so for this, it's very simple. Just fold these up, and then out here are these little fists. So you get those. I think that was for the other hand anyway, but let me just go ahead and get both of them prepped. So fold this out of the way. Here are the larger fists for King Shark Engine, and there you have that. So now we have the correct one here, um, and you'll see there's like a little handhold here, and just place it on, boom, and then place it now on the top section so that his arms make sense with where they go. Same deal here. Place it like this. Whoops, his fist got put away. Come on, there you go. And boom, there you go. Um, now, we are going to take, where is it? Oh, there we go. Uh, Shurik Engine's helmet and place it on here. And it will make the Shurik Engine noises because uh, it does that. That's its life, if I can get it to stick on there. There we go. Okay, so now that it's done with that, um, we can. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out for the big reveal. Just covers his face up like that, um, and then take this piece here, and you're gonna want to stick it on top. There's like these little side things, and they stick here. And then we're gonna go even higher up. Look at this. This whole thing isn't even gonna fit on frame. Um, and take this, and we're going to place it on the top. There we go. And now it will make like the proper noises. All right, so there's the noises for that. I'll just press it again. All right, now we got a couple more little things to do here. Let me turn him around. Um, so let's see if we can get a shot of the back here. Remember this little piece here, this gray piece? You're just gonna wanna slide it back here um, for, let me see if I can get it right, for storage slash stability. So do that. Technically, I probably should have done that first, but whatever. It's cool. Um, now we're going to combine their weapons. Now let's see if I remember how to do this right. There you go. Just remember that this little piece lines up with these pegs. And then take its two little wings and set them on the side here on these pegs. It's pretty self-explanatory once you see everything. And it makes this really cool looking sword weapon, which can now go in one of his hands. And we are done. I was like literally thinking we had other things to do. But there you have King Shurikenjin, and my god is this guy tall. Like look at this, it almost goes to the roof of my review station. Not almost, there's actually a lot of room, that was false. But it's pretty close to being tall. That didn't make any sense, it is tall. Don't even listen to what I'm saying. Um, I don't know what, what to feel about this guy, guys. I don't know, look how tall his head is. He's kind of ugly and weird. It's like tumor, like ultimate tumor man. But at the same time, I kind of dig it. I'm just, I, there's so many emotions, guys. I don't understand. Like when we first saw the pictures, for whatever reason, I really liked this when we got those grainy uh, review picture, review pictures, uh, preview pictures. But now it's just kind of, and look how far this protrudes. And I don't know, um, I'm going to continue to leave that down because I like it better. Um, it's just so much. Um, like I said, I don't know how to feel about it. Something I can say that's definite positive is I love when everything combines. I mean, obviously you don't have 
like Pound Maru and uh, UFO Maru on this, but I can take these two mecha and combine them and save space on my shelf, whether I really like the formation or whether I just need space, and I love being able to do that uh, just for a space-saving thing, and it kind of gives you this impressive little piece of, hey look, this is what I accomplished this year, which is kind of sad and proud at the same time. Um, but yeah, it's definitely one of the fuglier ones, which has essentially been the M.O. of Shurikenger. I Damn, man! I called it Shurikenger like three times. Of Ninninger, there we go. It's the Shuriken that's messing me up, guys. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of dig parts of it. I think when it's uh, from certain angles, it looks kind of neat and impressive, but other parts just look kind of ugly. Like, if you have a side shot um, or various angles, this looks really weird, and the hat just looks... It's so much. Um, but it's still kind of neat in some ways. Like I'm just going to keep arguing with myself about this being neat and weird. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. Um, overall, I had fun with it. I think if you're a fan of what Ninja's got going on, I can recommend it. I think it's a fun addition to the line. Um, you get three different modes. Uh, you can even probably do some other mixing with it if you want. Um, so yeah, it's a fun mecha. I do like it for the most part. I Like I said, I really dig the the mode where Rodeo Maru is riding the bison buggy for some reason. Um, so I think if you're already going in for the Ninja line, I can recommend it because it, it does add more to that craziness um, if you're into what Ninja is selling. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.